Hi, Janice Winward here with uh, Midnight Arts. Um, today I want to do, um, I mixed up a whole bunch of my metallic paints um, and, and I've got those ready, but I want to do some uh, bottle bottom pours and make flowers. Um, I have several different bottle bottoms, like this is a, uh, the bottom of a, a large Pepsi bottle, not a two liter, not that big, but a large one. And it has five petals on it. And this is a regular Pepsi bottle, and I also have um, this. And I also have one of these that my grandson saved for me. That was from a Sprite bottle. So I have those. There are five petals. I have this smaller four petal bottom. It's from um, Ice. Uh, a drink. It's called Ice. Um, and I have this six bottom one. That's also from a uh, drink called Ice. I got these at Walmart, these ones that have this six thing. Um, but I wanted to make smaller flowers. So um, I cut out the bottom of um, this is a Power Aid bottle and the center. And see that it goes the wrong way <laughs> um, on this one. It goes in. But I cut that out. It, make, it has five petals on it. And um, and I um, put some glue on the high points to make them a little bit higher. So I wanted to make some smaller um, flowers. So I have uh, five done, and I'm gonna do this sixth one. And it's just I have a low temperature. Oh, I better go get another glue stick. Hold on just a minute. I'll go get another glue stick. Okay, so all I did with this, I did put, um, I cut a toothpick, round toothpick, and put it in, just glued it on the top. So I can pour over that, and that's, this one looks like it's way crooked, so maybe that won't work very good. But I wanted to be able to pick it up out of the painting a little bit easier. So that's why I put that on there. And then what I did with these, with the glue, is just put some glue on the high point there to make it higher so it'll, it'll divide the paint as I pour the paint on there. There. just going to um, look at this um, and see if there's one that's maybe not very high up there like this one right here looks like it could use just a little bit more right there to divide the paint so there we go so I am going to be using those today in my paintings this is interesting you can see that stuck to my finger and it's strings on there. I have always used hot glue guns. This is a low temperature glue gun. And by now the hot glue would be cool and I could break that off. But this low temperature stays and look, it just, it can string out for a long ways. So that, I found that very interesting. Anyway, so I will cut these strings off of these and, um, and get some things set up ready and, and we're, I'm going to use them to do some pours. Okay, so I'm going to try to do my little flowers. I've got this um, canvas that I sprayed with water and let dry, and then I put a layer of white a paint on it. It wasn't white gesso. It's actually white um, house paint, and it's actually semi-gloss because it's just some paint that I had left over here. I didn't go buy any um, that I painted on and let that dry. And now I am putting on just a thin uh, coat of just white um, paint mixed with the Floetrol. It's mixed with Floetrol and uh, the bare um, concrete stain. This does not have any silicone in it. 
doing a very good job spreading it, but whatever. Okay. stirred it up pretty good right before I started and so unfortunately it's got lots of air bubbles in it. Um, so, alright. Now, let's do... Uh, shoot, I should have done the, the cup first for the pour. Alright. I have so many colors here and I, and I don't know huh, which ones to use to do my little flowers. Um, this is um, metallic blue sapphire. Oh, let's just put just a little bit of white. Well, no, I don't think I will. Well, okay. Just a little bit of white in the bottom. Not very much. This white does have a little bit of silicone in it. Okay, and then some of the blue. Let's put some of this red in there. Oh no, I might get a purple, blue and red. Okay, and some of this. This is not the metallic. This is... Um, Laguna. It, it is not a metallic paint. Okay, but we'll put some of this silver right by the Laguna in that. It is metallic silver. Okay, let's put some of this turquoise in here. Not metallic. It's just the apple barrel. And some of this bright magenta, which is also apple barrel, and it's not much metallic. Okay. And I don't want to put the greens in right now. Let's put just a little bit of this um, ice blue, metallic ice blue. Oh, I should have put them, I should have paid attention to how, what order I put them in so I could repeat, repeat it. Maybe just a little bit more white in there. Okay, and some of the it's pretty blue. Of paint on this canvas. This is a pretty small canvas, only an 8 by 10. Okay. I'm going to use my uh, little flowers that I made. those little things to work. Oh, that silver looks like, whoops, whoops, way too much there. Uh, looks, just totally looks gray on these. Yeah, I'm going to say that this isn't working quite so well. Looks like my canvas must be. Oh, I'm dripping all over. Uh, looks like my canvas is um, 
much my oh that's why <laughs> looked like it was oh way sideways okay, get some of those prettier colors in this one yeah I'm not liking the red so much in there As I've said before in other videos, I am just not a white space person. Oh, I have a thing of soapy water here to put these in. Um, and it's too far away, I can't reach it. <laughs> okay. Bubbles popped up out of this. And some white cells. down towards this corner just a little bit, I think. Okay, and then back to the middle. Over to this corner. Well, I'll have to try sometime when I don't want to cover the canvas because <laughs> uh, 
So of course my flowers are all gone because I tilted it so much, but I just don't like all the white on there. Um, so, let's see, I didn't really get cells. Some of the white is maybe sinking down around some of these colors here and getting some cells. Let's see, I'll approach it one more time. bring up quite a few little tiny cells. Not getting any up here. I'm leaving that one. I'm not going to do anything more with it. Um, I think it's okay. Move it down just a little bit down this way so you can. Oops, not that way. This way. So you can see the top on it. This this white here is, I guess, from the base coat. I probably had too much on there. And there's no silicone in there. And there is no, there are no cells in that one. And this right here. But then there are these other cells over here that are looking pretty good. Interesting over here. I actually like this, even though these are stretched out right here. I, I like the way this white has uh, scalloped there, or caterpillared there. Um, oh, I really like this line right here, going through here. It's good. So, okay. So, that's good. I'll go get another canvas and we'll do it again.